So in previous video, we uh, I just explained on uh, how we are going to start and what we are going to do. And uh, let's continue further. And I <coughs> Each button will be positioning according to the template we, ha we have here. So let's start from the center. Oof, oops. So I'll add a button. And uh, since each button will have its own functionalities, let's uh, name them. Center button and uh, have this as a variable and anchor it to uh, center. Make all this zero. And the size. Uh, you have to put the exact size of the image. So if you hover it here, uh, this image is 205 into 205. Uh, but uh, to an extent you can adjust this uh, using a size box and uh, having uh, uh, sizing the button to its content. So for now, uh, I'll keep this as 205 itself. We can adjust if required further. Five. And push in as 2500. And 0.5 and 0.5. So this will bring it to the center. And I will add a size box to it. And to the size box, give the same size and size it to content. And then over add an overlay. And uh, inside this add a image. And uh, name it as uh, center image. And the reason we are uh, uh, having the uh, image as variable is uh, we'll be uh, using this uh, variable to change uh, to different images depending upon the uh, the content we are going to show. And for the images, uh, for now, I, ha I have few images from my project. So I'll be importing those images itself. Feel free to use your own images. So I'm adding the image that I have. And I'm setting the size okay and for the button uh, I need to change the uh, color of the button and uh, here I'll be using the images that I have uh, already with me. So, centers. I'll just, okay, so that it will be easy for me to apply. Rest. So, for everything, I'm using the same image. Uh, you can use different ones uh, if you want to show a difference here but uh, uh, for me for hover and other effects I'll I'll, I'll be using uh, uh, 
a different way uh, but you can use whichever method you want you can directly give a different image here for instance you can reduce the opacity or increase the opacity make it darker uh, and apply it for hovered and uh, even for pressed you can do the similar things and uh, here on the rounded box mark it as image so this will uh, you'll have better output here okay so the center one is done so likewise you have to add uh, the images for all the other buttons i'll show for one more and i'll just fast forward for the other buttons and uh, uh, feel free to uh, you know copy i mean uh, copy the same method to all other buttons i'll i'll add for the top one anchoring it to center then put as 500 and uh, the size uh, I can go here and see what's the top size it's 193 into 141 93 into 141 and this alignment uh, this differs for uh, each button uh, I'll uh, uh, after you know uh, creating those uh, buttons and things for each uh, item what's the alignment to be used I'll show that separately so for this it's 0.5 and 1.8 so this makes it to come to the top and uh, uh, size it to content uh, don't worry if it goes to the smaller one uh, once we add uh, image in the uh, size box it gets fine top And the same thing, uh, draw as image. Okay. So now, if you uh, we can just uh, hide this and see. Okay. So now we are getting this uh, center button and uh, uh, the top button. The center one looks bit different. Uh, we will adjust that. So in my case, I have uh, all my uh, images that I have to put on the overlay are uh, with the same size. So uh, uh, this value depends upon what's the image size that you have. Uh, for me, uh, this is the uh, image.
and keep it to center so that the our, our, uh, the button image that we have uh, will appear in the center so likewise follow for uh, all the grids i'll once again make this as visible so that uh, it will be easy for me to arrange all the other uh, grids So once we arrange, uh, we'll identify any size mismatches and adjust uh, each of the buttons accordingly. So I'll, I'll start uh, filling up uh, the others. Just follow the values I'm uh, using for uh, alignment and the sizes. So if you are using my files,
so we we have added all the buttons now uh, we don't need this image anymore so almost all the buttons are aligned properly except the top one uh, we will adjust that okay i think uh, something has to be done on the size box end uh, so let's add the size box to other other uh, buttons also and see if that's causing an issue and uh, we will fix it accordingly and uh, we will see we will continue further in the next video thanks for watching